Welcome back to another video, new camera, I know, pretty good. Let's jump in to the Bitcoin charts because Bitcoin is the mothership. We're gonna be analyzing the entire market here today, but Bitcoin is obviously gonna be leading that charge. So we wanna be knowing where Bitcoin's going on a macro scale, okay? So let's just jump straight in here. Uh, we're gonna get to this in a minute, but let's just start at the top here, right? Energy value for Bitcoin, okay? This essentially means how much should Bitcoin be worth? Uh, well, basically, yeah, this red line is going to show us that we do oscillate around this red line but what's important here is when we get above it during a bull cycle then uh, yes uh, it is usually parabolic towards the moon right I know I say this every video so I'm not going to spend too much time on it but you can see here right you can see it you can see we are right above it and if you like that like the video mate like the video if we scroll down to the next chart here oh and yeah just just to say yeah usually when this happens bang okay so we should be expecting uh, mid hundreds very very soon okay not to be too moon boyish but uh yeah some more bullish data here we're seeing from the on-chain so this is the Cap capriol bitcoin macro index what this does guys is very very simple it takes 60 of the most powerful bitcoin on-chain and macro market metrics combined into a single machine learning bitcoin found fundamental found yeah it's it's, it's a big big it's a big boy okay it's a big boy and we can see here that uh yeah it is green okay it is flying we have been saying for basically years <laughs> or at least a year uh that when this turns green that's the time in which we should be looking at buying bitcoin and when this did turn green you can bet we bought it and i can bet some of you guys bought it as well that have been watching the channel so congratulations uh, on the run so far you've probably made like nearly a 2x 30 40 percent up here uh, already uh, for you guys that got in around here okay those of you that got in and a little bit more cautious around the 75k area which i said to get into right you will now be up probably about 15 to 20 percent on a 1x trade okay on a 10x trade that's uh yeah that's that's pretty decent 150 to 200 percent is pretty nice okay uh if you've been liquidated unlucky mates okay what can i say go make a pump dot fun all right <laughs> what we can say is uh there's still a lot of opportunity left here in the market okay yes we're tapping on 100k yes we should be expecting massive volatility around this area we've been saying this okay we've been hinting at it uh, and this is something that will not go away for a while okay i do expect us to oscillate around 100k for probably the next few weeks if not a month okay and if we do blast through 100k then that's going to be fantastic because it means we just go up okay we just go up i'm expecting resistance around every tens okay so 110 120 130 it's going to get very very volatile out here for bitcoin land all right but as of right now yes we are chilling okay we do have a big big sell wall around this 100k area this is obviously the liquidation heat map rather than the sell wall but uh, if we do scroll out here it's important to really look on the wider scope and we can see yes at 100k big big liquidations here coming through okay about 167 million here in liquidations uh, which will be quite a quite a lot for these market makers here right um i want to talk some bearish stuff here i really really do but it's all bullish what can i say uh, it's going to be a good next few months i will say and uh, if we are looking at the etf data right now guys we can see uh, in the in the last time we checked this is probably about 27 maybe 25 billion here uh, here on the right hand side okay you can see it's now at 30 billion so yes bitcoin's price is kind of oscillating between 90 and 100k but what's important here guys is that supply is getting eaten up by the businesses the institutions the people with the big money are buying bitcoin otc or via etf okay so yes uh, all of that supply is being gobbled up that's going to lower the liquidity that the exchanges have to operate with and then eventually when they can't suppress it anymore it's going to be a massive bullish pumperino and we can see the greed coming in already you're all very you're already very very greedy boys out here okay you greedy greedy boys but what we will say is uh yeah i mean there's a lot of hope here there's a lot of hope here for the market i will be expecting big volatility potentially like 10 maybe even 20 percent swings here in a few days all right so just be careful because the altcoin market will react to that very very aggressively okay and we are seeing uh, just in a little pump today we've seen peanut come up uh, literally this squirrel is nuts right now 
I did not mean to make that joke, but uh, yeah, this scroll is crazy right now. It is up 13%, okay? And this is just one example of one of the lower liquidity altcoins absolutely blasting it because Bitcoin's gone up a little bit, all right? So expect that for the rest of the market. I'm talking SWE, okay? I'm talking VeChain, I'm talking Solana, all right? These big, big coins will be having massive moves as well. And if they are suppressed while the rest of the market is moving, that actually makes them a target for the next pumps, okay? They're not going to zero. It might be frustrating, okay? But they're just being suppressed. And then when the rest of the market kind of cools off, that coin will then pump. And it's just a great opportunity to be targeting those, all right? Let's move over to the Bitcoin charts here because, uh, again, it's still looking pretty bullish, okay? In the past few days, we have come down, okay? We've created so many wicks here towards the downside already. What does that mean? Typically, it means that people are buying this up rapid time, okay? We talked about this here, okay? We said, hey, uh, when we do hit this, we should be getting some volatility, this yellow line here. This yellow line is not just a random trend line, guys. This is called a linear regressional growth curve. If you've ever seen that rainbow chart, that's essentially what this is, okay? It's using Fibonacci to get the right levels. It's using the highs and lows for each Bitcoin cycle to actually uh, get the future potential highs and lows. And last bull run, uh, we did actually uh, have a target of 100K, but unfortunately, uh, yes, we did have uh, some, some China mining ban thing come through, which completely crashed the markets and got us a bit short of our goal. So uh, my targets right now for this bull run, guys, are around 256K all the way up to about 375. And the longer time goes on, the higher that will get that will get to 400 very very quickly okay uh, and i know that sounds crazy but everyone is buying bitcoin right now if you're not buying bitcoin right now you're you're probably going to miss out on quite a lot of money over the next year i'm not talking about the next week i'm not talking about the next day okay if you want 100x long it on cross be my guest okay it's your money but i'm talking about long smart like decent investments that can literally triple your net worth here over a year, okay? So if you have 100K and you're making maybe 50K a year uh, in your job, yes, throw it all in Bitcoin because uh, yes, in the next four years or the next year, uh, hopefully the next year, <laughs> this thing will be probably closer to 400k than it is to 100k right now okay so just be aware of that i'm not normally this bullish here on anything but i do think bitcoin has a lot of potential to pump next year uh, there's a few scenarios where this won't happen okay one of them will be uh, if uh, the people that lost the last election or this election uh, do do some terrible things, okay, which is always a possibility that could cause black swan events, all right? That is one scenario that is looming, okay? But overall, as of right now, if we are looking at macro direction, we can't predict a black swan. We don't know when it's going to be, okay? We can have stop losses for that kind of stuff. But as of right now, yes, we should be looking at Bitcoin just piling up here over the next year obviously not through december <laughs> but uh, uh yeah if we are looking at this probably over the next year we are going to see a pretty decent trend up for bitcoin okay don't expect it to be overnight as i said but uh, i will be saying that yes uh, it is very very likely to get into at least 150k uh, next year all right and that sounds crazy but the amount of stuff i just showed you at the start of this video guys is so so bullish okay this is not this is not patterns, although we do do patterns on this channel, right? This is not patterns or measure moves. This is supply and demand. And supply and demand pull the market in directions, okay? Uh, random pumps may push the market, but supply and demand will pull in terms of gravity and stuff like this, right? Uh, it is going to pull the market in a certain direction. And yes, that direction, if you are looking at the on-chain, if you are looking at the supply and demand, uh, is up right now, okay? It does look very, very bullish. So then the best investment for the next year is going to be Bitcoin. It is going to be your altcoins like VeChain, like Solana, like Sui, okay? Like many, many other coins out there, okay? Okay, not Cardano. I'm sorry, not XRP. Okay, it's just, it's not, it's not for me. All right, <laughs> maybe Cardano, not XRP for sure. Okay, but uh, besides that, yes, it is looking like Bitcoin is super bullish here. In terms of the more kind of short term, if you are looking for that, all right, uh, well, if we do lose about 94K, it is incredibly likely that we do come down and test 90K again. Okay, and the reason for that is purely based on moving averages, right? Um, 
We can have all these metrics here, of course, but moving averages are going to be the best for the bull runs because that is what the bots trade the most. So we can see this run coming up here. Okay, when we do hit this 10 SMA or the 7 SMA, what do I have it set as? It is the 10 SMA right now. We do hit that 10 SMA. That is a key area uh, to actually initiate some sort of buy the dip, this kind of stuff here. Uh, and you can see this pretty much every single run, right? These, these moving averages are key for judging the momentum, judging when to buy. Okay, so this is the, uh, the initial run we had, the last bull run. We can see here every time we hit this 10 SMA, we bounced off it. When we lost it, we come down to the 21 EMA, as you can see here or the price action channel and then we bounce off that so areas to buy the dip will be the 21 ema or the price action channel okay if you don't have the price action channel then uh yeah i mean <laughs> subscribe to the patreon <laughs> right but if you if you if you don't want the price action channel then that's fine you can do this with moving averages completely for free okay and 21 ema you can literally just get on your chart right now okay you just type it in 21 EMA and then get it on your chart because that's going to be a key zone, okay? And you also want the 10 SMA to show when we're getting down there as well, right? So if we are dumping, don't freak out. Wait till we hit that 21 ESMA, uh, 21 EMA. Uh, and then uh, the, the key thing here is waiting to break a resistance that forms. You can't see the resistance here in this pump because it was so brutal, okay? But uh, this one would be a great example, okay? So we hit that 21 EMA, we break that resistance, that's descending trend line, and then we go parabolic from there, okay? We can see exactly the same thing here boom okay parabolic from there all right so that's really how you want to be trading this bull run okay i know it sounds stupid and easy but we're in a very easy market right now okay and i'm not going to be over complicating that this is essentially how you trade it okay you can see this every single time i drew this in a few videos ago but you can see this very very clearly okay very very clearly uh, obviously the reason why we wait for that trend line to break is because if that dump does want to continue, then that could be an issue where, uh, yes, I mean, you, you could be underwater, right? So you wanna wait for big, important trend lines to break before getting back in. Obviously, this is when Bitcoin was like 4,000, so it was a lot more volatile, and that's why I'm targeting more, uh, more well, closer moving averages this time around, because every time around, Bitcoin is gonna get less volatile. Although this time, guys, there is a lot less liquidity than the last bull run, okay? We have big money, billions and billions of dollars coming in right now okay so what we will say is uh yeah when we do get that pullback as you can see it looks very very steep right now uh, when we do get that pullback when it does happen okay look for that trend line look for the test of the important moving averages and then absolutely just bang it in when we do break that trend line okay very very important if you want to be a bit more cautious with this you can wait for a daily open and close above the trend line that's going to be the best case scenario you will lose out on a few percent but that's fine you're going to be a lot safer uh, doing that okay and besides that if we do go down to the four hour here we are just going to look right now here today uh, we can see that yes uh, we are breaking over a pretty decent trend line right now for Bitcoin on the four hour okay well, this is a bit of a weekend price action okay uh, we did actually have this CME gap come through uh, and this is this is how I was pretty bullish this morning okay so we can see here we hit this 15 minute volume weight today Tiaban okay we had this massive CME gap and then yes we've just been grinding back towards this point okay if we hit 99k today guys uh, it's not super bullish okay just remember 100k is a big round number when we do hit big liquidation levels it is usually the time where we get super volatile so this could hit those levels and still do crazy crazy things okay and this is why i say running a grid bot a grid bot will make you the most money in this area okay more than anything if you don't know what a grid bot is i do explain it in one of my other videos on my channel so feel free to check that out but uh, besides that yeah we can see here we're really looking at 98.5. If we can break over 98.5, there is a small trade here. Okay, it is, uh, it is, yeah, a very, very small trade and pretty risky trade actually, but up to the highs here, up to the all-time highs. Uh, and you could probably get 1% there. Uh, just, yeah, just be very, very careful around this area for sure. Uh, watch out for slippage as, as well. Don't be too late to this move. Okay, but overall, yeah, we should be expecting it to get there based on this this pattern okay and the measure move from that pattern so targeting one percent here does make sense if you want to go for the full thing a bit risky 100k is literally right there it will slap you in the face okay so uh yeah maybe aim for that one percent area and then you'll be good from there all right uh, that is going to be it from me a bit of a longer video today but i wanted to keep you guys informed all right uh be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and uh yeah let me know what you think of this new camera setup this is actually my phone this is actually my phone so um yeah, I mean, I should have done this years ago, right? <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a fantastic day. Peace out. Goodbye. Don't forget to like the video. Cheers.